Hi everyone! It's been a while, hasn't it? This week I have a new Disney DIY. This is a Peter Pan silhouette lamp project. So we're going to start by creating some silhouettes that fit to the size of the glass, attaching them carefully with clear tape. Be sure to press the tape down as close along the edges of the silhouettes as possible. If you have a panel that has multiple silhouettes like this one, just be careful when applying the tape so you don't shift the design. And there we have it, about an hour's worth of taping complete. Next we want to cut the figures out carefully, making sure to press the tape down back along the line that has been cut so that you have an outline to apply the paint within. After removing the cutout silhouettes, I begin to spray paint the entire lamp. I used a matte spray paint and sealer, but I would recommend using acrylic paint or a glossy spray paint instead because it's a little harder to accidentally scratch. I then allowed it to dry 24 hours before removing all the layers of tape. Be warned, this takes a long time with packing tape like I used, and in retrospect, I would use a semi-transparent or possibly even a masking tape to prevent a lot of the sticky residue I had after removing all of the tape. After I had removed the sticky tape residue and flipped the panels inward, I was all finished. I rotated the panels inward because my matte spray paint made the silhouettes very easy to scratch off. You can also see here that because of the way I painted the sides, I didn't cover all of the metal and left some exposed to the spray paint, making it a matte black, which looks kind of weird. And here you can see Peter's leg is missing a section where I accidentally scratched off the paint. Alright, let's see it with the lights off. Oh wow, look at that, it's so pretty. The shadows don't capture it as well on camera, so I'll show you a few clips on camera before I show you some better pictures I took. So here's Peter's shadow. And Tinkerbell. Peter and Wendy. Here are a couple better pictures. I really loved working on this project, and it was a lot of fun and super easy to do. I'll admit it required a lot of time and patience, but the end result is totally worth the work. I'd love to hear if you have made something similar on your own, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. And thank you so much for watching.